Steadfast frontline. Well, the thing is, is uh, the uh, Boston Uprising know that the Titans have to be the team that makes that first move. Uh, and they're just poking them down at range, and you just see everybody low on the Titans. They don't have that big burst healing of like a Batiste or uh, you know an Ana to bring everybody back to life. And just uh, you know, in the just over time, they're gonna lose that fight as longer it draws. Yeah, but uh, you're gonna have an EMP that comes in here. Uh, the Transcendent's just a, a little bit late, not able to save Dalt. Chunksik, yep, doesn't last very long. There is a damage amplification of a different kind here. Obviously, with that amp matrix in play there, and Chunksik got caught out in front of it. Again, look, we wanted to see Vancouver sort of come out here and have a decent understanding of the, the way to play the middle. Look, they're picking the ball, they're playing the Zen Brig, but they're not getting. Doesn't want to deal with the Brig too much here, but he gets hacked! He gets hacked on the point! Oh god, the self destruct! The humanity, Matt! Earl and Lynx are down, and Don's able to find a pulse bomb stick again, something he's known for. Myeongbong falls. Valentine, though, has his own brand of healing, though, and Chunksik is just. Floundering around on the point there, Matthew. Nothing he could do there. Looks like he was stunned up by fate. And this will be a pretty quick one at this rate. Desert there. Dalton trying to keep it alive. Fire on the point here. He's going to get run off pretty quickly. There's a Discord on stand one right now. He's a little vulnerable, but somehow going to 1v1 Linkser gets an immortality field thrown from the back lines. Some stall here again from the Wrecking Ball as he can return quite quickly to the fray. But that'll be it. Boston look dominant in map one. Round one, rather. Boston just trying to close the gap. Uh, you know, and once those fights start to fall in that medium to short range, that's where you have the advantage. But you're going to lose item 37 off the rip. Immortality Field has to be deployed to keep stand one on his feet. Lisa, comfortable position here in the back line. Dalton knows doing everything. Get rid of both DPS players. Forces a switch from item 37 over to the Hanzo. This has to be a response, you think, to the shield of Chunksik. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you, it, it also shows uh, that you know, you're going to have a Valentine's you know, pretty lackluster comp the entire time. They yeah, felt they were dead. They were locked into playing that certain way for whatever reason. Milmong loses his immortality field there, but the tactical visor should find some purchase. Fire with two. Much better look for Vancouver right now. Stand one, shield down. Supercharges are in play here. I'm 37 going to fall early. And the superchargers are now out of the picture here. It's a whole split for the uprising. They're completely broken apart. A lot of inanimate objects being dealt with here, but Valentine falls to Chunksik. And the Titans look comfortable in this Orisa mirror. Yeah, sure, it makes it even more mystifying to see them play ball in that previous round, but we forget about that now. It's almost starting off uh, exactly how the last series started off, right? Fire going down early. Dalton's pulse bomb. That's a good one. Immortality Field has to be used there to keep Valentine alive, and the Molten Core comes out. He ends up falling. I can really give you on this map. You have to come out of a choke it, here. We'll see if they can touch. Quick if they don't. Yeah. Uh, yep. I was going to say. Go. Man, go. quick if they don't go. touch. And, uh, Just a that bizarre is what time to pause the game. <laughs> Dalton's tracer again is something to look out for. Huge in that last round by taking out both DPS in the first five, basically gives the Titans a yellow brick road to victory. I'm 37. Just gets. Uh, flattened here. Th this is actually, so this is a better composition for the Titans by a mile. Get a, you know, get a Discord down, you know, focus down one target. Uh, as uh, you see a hack trying to come through, but <laughs> Myungbung dead uh, instantly. I mean, I'm 37, just sat there. He's like, oh, look, I'll, I'll, just... hack him. I'll hack him once he touches the ground. No worries. Yeah, well, you just lost two players, mate. Oh, at this point in the series, but here we are. Uh, Still, well, 80 percent on the clock. <laughs> they have to win now. Well, they don't have to win, but it'd I mean, be nice if they won. But <laughs> Vancouver looking carved up. Absolutely vascular. Bordering on Brolic, Matthew, but they've lost two to Myungbong early. The Uprising are mad. They come back to the point here. They're in control. They need to hold the Titans off, but again, do they even really care? They're munching down on some goodness. Uh, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure the players are unaware. Like a stationary team, maybe you can actually get something out of uh, the self-destruct. Okay, so Supercharger goes first. I mean, while Dalton's getting rid of it, though, they lose Lynx or another brilliant pulse bomb, though. His trace has just been sick so far this map. But Punk's gonna be able to shut him down. And that'll be another Boston Uprising fight. Bolton needs a little bit of help. All right, so now Boston gains control. I think a lot of that. Uh, Reset here. Okay, Air Matrix is on the high ground. Myungbong, I mean, classic Myungbong play. Immortality fielding himself. I like that, but he gets oh knocked off. Fried Wiener gets himself three. Really showing us that upper crust gameplay for Boston. 
Things just went horribly awry. Right, but Boston's gonna have another attempt at this. You're gonna Arena. In a bun. That's a hot dog, ladies and gentlemen. You're not gonna go down here, Dalton. Okay, I'm gonna pick off the Baptiste here. And I'm 37-1, have a chance to get value out of this EMP. He's so far away from the fight. He gets there, but is it too late? Fire already had the rally in play. I'm 37, goes down to Linkser. Punk trying to stand up, but he cannot. And the Vancouver Titans, does it get any better than Killed it, he blew it up, then he went somewhere else, got healed up, and then was back in the fight pretty quickly. The Uprising want to move up here. They realize they've started to break some of these shields down, and this is what this cop is designed to do. You outlast in the neutral fight, then you start taking space behind that Arista shield. Yep. And uh, they notice that the supports are over towards that right. And we've given up, you know, all this space. Yeah, eventually they're going to have to really commit. That's a nice hold, though. That held chunks. He can place. He couldn't escape. And Dalton, well... I talked about him and Torbjorn Turrets. This time, Valentine actually getting some value in that Tracer matchup. Good result for Boston. Now they can re-establish that corner, Matthew. Yep. They're going to push on through, take out a few players. So they EMP'd, and that ended up forcing out Ant Matrix Rally, uh, Supercharger. Uh, and now they just push forward with their own Transcendence and Rally. It's crazy how often teams are doing that right now. They take position with Transcendence. It lets them play super aggressive in that Pulse Bomb. Dom's patience is paid off. He's able to get Valentine with that kill. Absolutely worthwhile. And eventually the Titans break over the Uprising. Yeah. That minefield now, especially with mines not sticking to walls, it's hard to get out of that room if you're Uprising. They're going to go for it though, and the Self-Destruct catches Rolf of all people. Triwina looks like he's been more impressed. He'll move the card up a little bit here, but another classic Dalton Pulse Bomb connection on Faith is I mean, the guy is just giving you everything you could ask for from your Tracer mat. And the rest of the Titans reciprocate. So, the Titans are going to keep the card ro rolling. Stand one here, Dice with the end. I got to think. If you're uh, oh, Primo, no that becomes like a dive target. Yeah, I mean, big EMP from Linkser. This forces the back rally in the mix here. For the Not Titans, is, uh, they're getting really close to getting the payload over the line. Attack Pfizer here as well could be scary. Transcendence has to be popped. Good response from Rolf. It's proportional and appropriate. He's at a good map right now on Zenyatta. I'm 37 as a drop onto the car, but it's the blue goo. And it's going to stand in the way of the Titans. And they can't do much about that. They have to back off. Lisa Doom, shut down early. Yeah, I think the Doom switch was... Uh, yeah. Chunks here, booped away, Cartwheel move, self-destruct. Oh, it claims faith. He doesn't even need to get an EMP. In fact, the Pulse Bomb is superfluous at this point. Another tactical visor, but Dalton just keeps his head down for the time being. Ton of damage here for I'm 37. Myungbong very selfless, giving that over. But now he's got to contest 1v3. I think on the high ground is Myungbong, but I mean, what do you do? It's the Torbjorn, rather. He goes down, some heroics from individuals there, but it's not enough. The Titans have the team play. But oh. the Diva's back. Fates here as well. Rally's going to be popped. No, no! They had an opportunity, surely, but now the respawns come back in and the mobility helps pump return to the fray. Awfully quick. Oh, Changsik gets tiny violins for the Wrecking Ball as he cannot touch the cart. And Fire also pulls up short. Mm, there's uh, uh, the Sombra with the Tracer, a dive with the Wrecking Ball, trying to take advantage of this. They get a hack on a stand one. It's going to be an immortality field that's out early. And it's not enough. Doesn't keep Valentine alive. Fred Wiener does at least get de-suited, but I think that's the price you're willing to pay for the Vancouver Titans. But now, uh, maybe not so much. You got into an auction you didn't want to be in. Myungbong gets rid of the de-suited Fred Wiener, and Chunksy can only, I mean, stall for a, a brief period of time. Not great for the Titans who weren't. Hard driver in. Oh, my Chunksy just got blown up. That is rough. The soldier there with the damage, but the stick on the brick is good. Dalton, can he do more? Right now, looks like he wants to be less aggressive and save more time, but Rolf finds Valentine. With an Ant Matrix in play, the Uprising needed more defense, less offense there, apparently. Oh, uh, yeah, but the Titans, they ended up having to use Rally and their EMP there to get that done. Uh, maybe you get aggressive behind the Transcendence. Rolf's had good timings on this Transcendence so far, and this one also pretty darn good. Every time Attack Visor comes out, I'm 37, just sits there and holds M1 and gets nothing done. A D suit is all we'll get for that, but it just turns out to be a self destruct remake. But, couple players here for the Uprising still translocate out for Linksus, so they're sticking around to see what they can find, but they're fizzling out a little bit. The Uprising here, Matt, they spend some ultimates in that last fight. Uh, yes, you're going to lose Punk here towards the end. 
Uh, we do have some players coming back. I mean, here comes I'm 37 uh, with P for a big one. EMP's there. It's on four. Resuited a good time for Fry. We need to dive back into the fray, but the follow up wasn't there as a result. Oh, nothing, so the yeah. uprising just brushed that EMP off and it's back to business. And business is good, Matthew. We're off and fire. You're blown up at the start of the fight. Again, good focus fire from the uprising after yep. an awkward start to the fight. Sorely under followed up on. There you go. That's a phrase. Lots of hyphens in there. Stan one's able to get rid of Fry Winnie here, though, and Rolf has the transcendence, I think, in a, a little bit of a nasty fight. See, the thing about Transcendence is you can't reapply your Discord Orb. So it gets uh, it gets pulled off there. No damage boost in that goes down as a result, but better him going down than the entirety of the Titans getting wiped. They have to contest. They have to play in the open, so that could have been devastating for them. Don through the minefield there. Faith getting picked off, and there's another Pulse Bomb here. It's a stick. When they have Dalton alive in these fights, they're able to win them. Like, the last fights that they've lost, it's just been with, you know, the EMP. He occupied Myungbong and I'm 37 in that moment as well, by the way. Oh, no! Leaks had the EMP. Okay, he gets out with his life at the very least. But he gets spotted. Here's that EMP, though. He's back in the fight as soon as he left. And Puck is blown up, but it's a trade. Leaks has to give up his life after the EMP. And it's go, go, go now for the Titans. Transcendence is in play. Immortality field used. Pile drivers there, but Chunks, he gets blown up once more. Frywin is looking healthy though now, and it's going to be a Molten Core. Where is it going to be used though? I'm 37 down to the minefield. Fried Wiener in a face to face here with Stan 1. He doesn't fancy it, but another Dalton Pulse Bomb. It's beautiful. You bloody ripper. He's found two kills there. One with the Pulse Bomb. Stan 1 going to try and hang on here against Rolf, but it's not going to be enough. Mjumbong goes for a classic Ant Matrix for himself. He can't follow up on it. And that's two on the trot for the Titans. There's some magic in this one, Matt. On the point, Teru's actually gotten a really good position on the far. Now look, the Titans don't overcommit into that immortality field either. They take their time and Teru, okay, just rains rockets down. Nicely done. I mean, he picks off the Torb turret at long range. That lets him set up wherever he wants to. And the Vancouver Titans, yeah, they definitely look like mentally, they're very comfortable. But there's also a D.Va on the hunt for far. Positioning's good though. It's safe too, Matt. Can play from here if he wants to. The Torb turret gets deployed. Cloudy with a chance of justice. Valentine loses his turret. And Dalton is doing work on his Hanzo, this guy. So many looks. The Dragon Strike is going to be scary now with all of the uprising. You're going to have to walk back into their spawn. No ticks yet for the Titans. They're taking it slow and steady here, though. And there's a lot of pressure on Stan 1. He needs the immortality field, but it doesn't last very long at all. Minefield on the point now. Punk does a good job knocking Changsik away. But eventually there's going to be a cap here from the Titans. And Punk is desuited and cannot help. So that's going to be one tick. Two. Getting close to another tick. Stand one. They're going to get a touch. Oh, I mean, this does not look good, though. I mean, they're not oh, going to last Oh, it's awful! Long. Yeah. Stand one, living up to his name, because he is well and truly alone here on the point. Punk and me are step in a little bit later, but it's just ones and twos. That's all that the Uprising can do. But they're not getting into Noah's Ark. They're trying to contest the points. And that's it. The Vancouver Titans with 4 minutes and 25 seconds. Perhaps today, Matt, it's just meant. Valentine overcharged himself and what well, didn't have much to shoot at. He can redeploy the turret here. Terry, okay. Good timing. Really respects the damage. Fire stuck to him like glue. And that's the immortality field now removed. Punk definitely looking for a way to access Terry. Oh, big tie over me. Oh, Rolled him back the years. Mitch, there's no Lucio in this hero pool. Like, like, you see how slow they're going through the choke. Like, they drop the... Punk pile drove, but only his eyes for the bird. Chunksik taken down. It's going to be a nano boost to Teru. Oh, my. That is filthy. Three from the barrage here, and the cleanup is undeniable from the Boston Uprising. Punk is just heading for the nearest cliff ledge. Oh, Chunksik. Oh, okay. All right. The minefield got deployed and they killed I'm 37. So there is that. That is going to slow. It's going to slow the uprising down of the game. <laughs> well, I am so confused what that was. Okay, uh -oh. transcendence is here. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, like, like, bro. Like, all right. <laughs> There's no way to get this. Rezon Rule here is back in the fight. Faithful's foul of a pulse bomb. And the uprising are going to get rounded up once more. Bro, I can shoot it, Daru. Chunksik uh, oh, gets nice away. 
Yeah, Dalton not nearly as lucky. I'm 37, still sharp on the head scan, and there it is, Punk finally getting his anti-air chops. Teru gonna be res though. Still a chance. Well, no, they're out of position. Oh. Yeah, Chumpsy a little bit too far away. Would they nano? Yeah, um, they might have. Just ignore that. Hey, hey, it's look into this, look into this flash for a second, real quick. Why are they oh, fighting dude. here? What, what is what what is this fight? Alright, everybody's, they're gonna, die. everybody's they're gonna die. We're gonna we're gonna Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced I'm this is a practical joke. Teru there tries for the barrage, but again, can't really guarantee the can't really bet on the ant matrix not being there. And just gets thrown up. Don goes down to so no DPS left here for the Titans. They need to move into full defense mode right now, and they are in oh my they're in disarray. Okay. Raw from the back right corner, you can see him there. Teru. I mean, tough to touch the point against a soldier like this, and good work, Chunksik. Shutting down soldier play is something he's done very well, but he's not really able to put Valentine to bed, so to speak. And that will be a Boston Uprising point take. I feel like the Titans be... What's the weather report, Custer? Bust out a moustache for this one. Okay, so he respects the Air Matrix enough to, to back away. He'll play this corner for now, and he over the top. get over the top. Okay, when does he go for it, though? He left Chunksik hanging, Punk. Just wards him off. There's a concussive blast here. I'm 37th waiting for it, so there it is. Looks like the defense matrix wasn't really there in time for Pride Wiener. Teru goes down. I, I think what he could have done with the barrage there, uh, I, I think it needed to probably be a little bit more decisive. Uh, you know, when Chongsik goes in, even when you lose him. You know, Immortality feels down now, the ant matrix is on the high ground with the attack fires, and this is scary for the Titans. They need to take cover now. And Give Valentine doesn't ticks. get anything with that. Another tick here, Valentine, Paul drove. Dalton gonna get taken down by Punk, and this has gone from bad to worse for the Uprising. The double hit scan composition for Boston, rather, is working out. The Titans didn't count on this at all. And they were not ready for an Uprising on the brink of defeat. Uh, no. They have an immortality field, and Ant Matrix is there. Terror will have to settle for a really sharp angle and some poke damage. You've got to go for this, he had no choice, really. Teru's going to be able to survive that one. On 37's gone down. So the Titans go up a gear back. They get aggressive. And they found both hit scans. Now Teru can live large. Yeah, they they, they got to cap this point, though. The point's still being contested here by stand one. Uh, you know, great that they're pushing through, pick up these kills. But still, uh, just more time being dwindled off the clock here by the Uprising. Hello. The Titans, though, increasing their chances of having some time left at the end of this half with a cap here. Obviously, the dragon, they got the nano under the far as well. Single most important fight of the season for the Titans, and it starts well. Stair one is down to the Storm Arrows, and Valentine's trying to make the attack work from the corner, but again, Chunksik gets in his face. It's not enough to shut him down entirely. Valentine stifled somewhat, but at least Fried Wiener out on the point here has to unmech. Chunksik very, very low, though, but Fried Wiener's going to be brought back into the fight. It's at the cost of the mercy, though, and there's really not enough for the Titans to work with. They've got to back off and try again. Teru surely doesn't go for this. Ah, uh, he's going to switch. Dalton knows he will either force them, or force them to drop down here. So this will give... Oh, okay. Oh, the wall! Whoa. It's beautiful from Teru! There is no way the Uprising were getting past that. I guess their watch has ended, Matthew. Changsik now going to set up on the point. There's a Supercharger in play. But Faith is going to get ruined by fire. The whip shot hits true. And now Valentine gets halted out into the open. Going to be tough to escape here, but it's going to be an amplification matrix in the back right corner of the point here. Holt thrown out. Yumbong can't be pulled ahead of his window though, and now they're going to do a stand one. The Maywall sections him off perfectly. Faith going to try and step up onto the point. 40 seconds left in the round. Here's an ant matrix now from Rolf. This is going to force the uprising to stay behind the wall for the time being, but they've got time to work with here. Wolf going down, a pick from Valentine, comes in on, on the Doomfist, can he do any more? It's Dalton that actually shuts him down, and now the Wrecking Ball play from Stand 1. We've hardly seen it all series, and now it's going to be the time for him to try and score with it. He's going to get frozen, there's no doubt about it. He's off the point, and now Punk's going to step up, 13 seconds left to work with here. Punk going to be desuited. Again, the Doomfist trying to get to the point, Fried Wiener keeps him away. The punch lands, though, on a Teru, knocks him back, only a small amount, and the Blizzard thrown down in the right-hand corner. Both teams get a time extension. Two seconds separate them. Uh, he was on the other side of it, sure enough, but the Titans weren't able to get the May value in that first fight. Now the second, I'm 37, Storm Arrow. Wall comes up again, Stand 1 is just staying alive. But Faith was not nearly as lucky. They need a tick. 
At least the Uprising need to get someone on the point. They lose. They get Chunk sick here at the very least, but Punk didn't get a point before he's frozen and desuited now. He should be removed and a wall comes up to make sure no one interrupts this little tea party. And Myeongbong won't make it to the point alive. That's it. Boston get no tick here. It's all on the table for the Titans' first potential victory. Direct. Always low indeed. The damage Bionic on Terry makes well. him. Faith is in trouble. Stand one also hit with that one. But where is the damage, Matthew? Faith. Immortality Field has to be used. They're all sardines in the can right now. Just a strong wind would blow them over. But they're staying alive. Just the Titans are moved onto the point. Up 37 down. Faith has also been removed. The uprising are capitulating here. And finally, after so long, the hallowed halls of the north. We start to hear the echoes of past glory. The Vancouver Titans have snapped their lost streak. It, it not just snapped it. A 3-0 win. And uh, you, you see just how relieved they are. Uh, you got to feel for this team. I know they've uh, they've heard a lot from everybody uh, about their play throughout this season. I know.